Okay there, boys and girls. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whatever it may be the case for you. It's Elton McFall here, your uh, old uh, vehicle fanatic here out here in Montreal, Canada. And if we just uh, pan uh, to my window here, which is covered in condensation, you can see it's not exactly uh, 25 degrees Celsius out there, right? So anyway, uh, yeah, this is a really cool, um, well, it's called the old car book, but I mean, you know, it was a magazine. And uh, I'm sure it probably still exists, except uh, more probably strong online than in print, of course, because, you know, some people would believe print is dead. And uh, let's have a little sip of my coffee here with a... What is that? Oh, yeah, it's a javelin I drew years ago. Hmm. Anywho, I uh, wanted to show this for some time because this book is from 1985. And uh, we're going back almost 30 years, you know. And so the prices uh, for sure have changed, you know, for uh, uh, a lot of these cars that are in here. But some of them know because, you know, they're four-door cars, four-door sedans and... Uh, or, of course, there's the condition, but it's usually because it's a four-door sedan. Anyway, so let's get started here. Now, one thing I want to start off by showing here, which is funny I'd forgotten about, actually, uh, till this morning. You see the edge over there where it's all, like, see it's all chewed up there, worn out? Well, that was, you see, from a cat I used to have, which I loved dearly, but he died. And um, you see the whole page here is just, like, Two first two pages are just write-offs. Well, <laughs> you see, my kitty, you know animals, they love smell. Okay? They love different smells. So it must have been something about that old smell of this paper, of this magazine. He just freaking loved it. He would just rub his mouth all over that edge. Just repeatedly rub it across and uh, like as if it turned him on, you know. And then, <laughs> and then I caught him doing it like once. And and then whatever, I, would, I wouldn't put this book away and he just go after it again and just I had to tear out these pages because he damaged them so much finally I said shit man I'm gonna put this book away from now on in my bureau because he's just destroying it <laughs> and so anyway uh, and I bought this book uh, by the way um, uh, I don't know about eight years ago or something on eBay and uh, look at this out here for a, a continental kit company showing different models of cars that were popular to have the Connie kits on the rear bumpers. Anyway, so let's take a look at some interesting prices reflective of that time compared to today. Let's start off with this rare, man, rare 59 Lincoln Continental Mark IV. And look at it, 40,000 miles, very good condition. What does that say there? 3,500 bucks? Holy shit, I mean 40,000 miles, look at this thing. Does it look in bad condition? No, not at all. And we'll just keep moving along here to the other stuff I've noted. Oh yeah, by the way, you might have noticed that. See, I, I blocked out all the phone numbers, which just makes sense because some people are so fucking dumb that, you know, if I leave that there, they're going to freeze the freeze the video and they're going to call the person and won't even... They'll be like, who? What? What car? When? You're crazy. You got the wrong number. You know? Yeah, nuts. So we're just uh, meandering through here. here. Find some other things to show you that I uh, noted. There we go. How about this? My second favorite car, or my favorite car of all time. Depends on how I feel. 1959 Cadillac. You got a Coupe de Ville. You paint good tires and trends. Engine runs good. Needs interior, power steering, power brakes, power AC, power windows. What? 1800 bucks for a 59 Cadillac. Look at that. 59 Cadillac for 1800 bucks in California back in 85. Crazy. And on uh, the other page here, we have a rare uh, 69 Chevrolet Estate Station Wagon Caprice. Stupid goddamn focus on this thing. Look at that. See, it's a CB and 8 track radio. 450 bucks. Four hundred and fifty dollars. That's crazy. And if I go here, um, 
If I go Ah, humming a little tune from the 50s, early 60s that fits with these old school records. How about a 59 Impala, two-door hardtop, 283 V8 automatic, power steering, power brakes, excellent condition, white exterior, ugh, turquoise interior, that's nice. One owner runs and drives, excellent smog and license, that means it's in California, or was anyway, it's probably in fucking Europe for all we know now. 2450, man, 2450 for a 59 Impala, two-door hardtop. I forgot I wanted to mention what the approximate values of these cars today. This car today, in mint condition, is worth at least... Oh, 30, 40 grand at least. Depends, of course, on the condition and options, matching numbers, colors, yada, yada, yada. All right, what else we got here? Check this out. Yeah, you want to talk about extremely rare? How about a 58 made in France Facel Vega HK500? Get a little better here. Extremely rare, 1 of 400 made, 383 Chrysler V8. Yeah, they came standard with those. Automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, air. Uh, what does that say? Wires? What does that say? Yeah, wires. I guess wire wheels. Lead total restoration, 100% complete, not running. Must sell 2800 bucks. Yeah, uh, I would say today in a restorable condition, this car is probably worth like twenty grand, Easily. Uh, yeah, one of the most American um, design-inspired cars from Europe out of that time. Dream car, if you will. Uh, well, what else we got? Another 59 Cadillac. Look at that. 59 Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special. For how much? Kind of expensive for that time. 10 grand. 10 grand. Damn thing won't focus. There we go. Ten thousand dollars, man! I almost bought one of these cars uh, yeah, at Frank Carrenti, Frank Carrenti Cadillac on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California, in two thousand six. He won a thirteen grand for it. It was pink. It was excellent. The only thing wrong with it, it had a wiper missing. Uh, and these cars now, yeah, they're worth about twenty five, thirty grand. So they've gone up there. It's a fifty nine Cadillac. It's the most exciting four door hardtop, four door fifty nine Cadillac you can have. If it's more on top of that, even rarer, of course, would be the um, the uh, the Brome, the Eldorado Brome, with the uh, body made in Italy. All right, I'm gonna speed this up here. The battery's starting to conk out. I thought I had more uh, battery power in this thing, but you know, when you're out in the cold, as much as me here in the dead of fucking winter in Canada, the cold and electricity and batteries do not mix really well. Hey, check this up. Check this up. Look at this rare beauty. 57 Chevy Cameo pickup, 283 V8 four-speed buckets, good condition, excellent investment, ready to restore, 2800 bucks in Dallas, Texas in 1985. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've had that song in my head the past few days. How many movies or places have you heard this song? You know? Unless you live under a rock or something. Ah, oodles and oodles and oodles of classic, classic cars. We're getting to our next subject here. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, look at this. Check that out. 65 Dodge Coronet 426 Wedge Hemi Muscle Car. Factory parts used... Uh, uh, to bring to shape, uh, license for street, if they're ready for strip. How much? 9500 bucks. There's one thing I learned many years ago about any car that has a Hemi 426 engine in it. you got to mark up the value 100%. So, even if that's not original motor, you're looking at a car that's worth like 50 grand or more. Okay. Of course, if it was a matching numbers with the uh, body, uh, with, you know, the whole chassis and everything with that motor, well, looking at quite a lot more. Very, very collectible. Uh, da, 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 da. What else we got here? Here we go. Check this out. Speaking of Mopar Muscle. 
How about a 69 Dodge 